Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we'll be carrying out a design and analysis on heat transfer. This heat transfer problem deals with a slab which has an overall thickness of 160 mm and K value thermal conductivity is 180 watt per meter Kelvin. The rate of heat generated in this problem is nothing but Q. Q is nothing but 1.2 into 10 power 6 watt per meter cube. And then the temperature of each slab is 120 degrees. We'll have to solve the temperature at the middle and quarter planes as well as temperature gradient at the middle and quarter planes. Area of the slab is 1 meter. Let's solve it. Okay. Now let's go to file, clear and start new, click on do not read file, okay, yes, preferences, thermal, okay, let's go to preprocessor, element type, add, edit, delete, click on add, go to the solid, the first one, code for node 55, click on okay, close, click on material properties, material modes, let's show you the problem again. Let's go to thermal, conductivity, isentropic. Let's put in the value that's 180. Okay, let's close it. Let's go to modeling, create areas, rectangle by two corner. It's 160 mm. So let's keep it in meters, 0.16 and 0.01, okay, we got a rectangle. Now let's enlarge it, let's go to meshing, mesh tool, set lines, click on the bottom and top, click on okay, give 32 divisions, okay. Once this is done, go to mesh tool again, go to set, click on both the sides, click OK. Number of divisions is 2, click OK. Go to meshing tool, mesh, click on the object, OK. Go to load, define load, apply, thermal, temperature, online. Click on the first line, last line, okay. Temperature, it's 120, oh, okay. Close. Go to heat generated, on area, click on the whole body, click on okay. The value is 1.2 into 10 power 6 e to the power e6 okay go to solution sol current ls okay close general process processor path operation defined path by nodes click on the first one last one okay defined path it's one, okay. Please go it over there. Go to map onto path. DOF temperature. Click on OK. Go to map onto path. Flux and generated thermal gravity GX. Okay. Plot part item on graph temperature. Okay. So according to the calculated values and the analytic values it's almost similar there we go even t2 is almost similar there we go including t3 all t1 t2 and t3 all three are similar over here go straight up you'll find t3 over there Go to on graph, go to TGX, okay, 
so we have a tjx graph that is 0.044 l you get that 266 there we go it's over there go to 0 0.08 you get 0 there we go perfect go to 0 0.12 you get minus 266.66 perfect there we go thanks guys for watching we'll be back soon